The following video involves characters which are mirrors of real-life content creators which are poorly impersonated by yours truly. Also, the majority of events in this video are fictional. Well, most of them at least. Or are they? Uh, where the hell is he? Come on, get in, get in! You got the goods? Yep, they got your order right here. It's... it's beautiful. Not so fast, partner. What the fuck? We had a deal, remember? Oh shit, alright. But not a word goes out of your mouth on where this cash came from, you got it? Ain't none gonna be the wiser. What the hell? Wait, no! Come back! Asshole! I can explain! Fuck your excuses! Come on, you're gonna miss the Q&A! The Q&A? Holy shit! Attention! <laughs> the World of Warcraft Live Developer Q&A is to be broadcasted in less than one minute. All members of Destructible report to the main hall immediately. Hey, what's all the fuss about? Didn't you hear? What a Warcraft's back. Huh? Yeah, everybody's resubbing. What a Warcraft is saved. Oh, cool. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. This is gonna be exciting. Shut up. It's about to start. I can't reach. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another World of Warcraft Live Developer Q&A. Today, I am joined here once again by game director Ian What Has It Cost Us. Ian, it's great to have you here again. Great to be here as always, yeah. I cannot express how excited I am. We've all seen the numbers. Our beloved game, a game we have all grown up with, is becoming popular once again. I think this year is going to be very exciting. Yes. Right, starting off with the first question. The first question comes from Mrs. GM. Server queues are often an indicator that a large population of players is currently playing on the server. Today we have seen massive queues on almost every WoW server, spanning the US and the EU. Does this mean WoW is saved? Well, <laughs> uh, personally, I can't believe it myself. It's almost like being in a dream, you know? I can't imagine if this all turned out to be a mistake, that nothing has changed at all, and that the player population display, which you've all seen, turned out to be nothing more than a bug, and none of it was real. But yeah, Ian, uh, what can you say about the server queues? Um, this is a bug. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely not intended. I think there's a What? Seriously? Really? What the fuck? Oh. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. You're joking, right? Yeah. Please don't be empty. Please don't be empty. No. It's empty. No. No. You're joking, right? It is true. Nothing has changed. The population of World of Warcraft only continues to stagnate, and the past two raid tiers, none of them, neither anything else that Blizzard had conjured could save the game from its dark fate. This is the grim destiny of our beloved game made manifest, the irrevocable truth that haunts all who continue to cling to the game, WoW is dying. But why? What was it exactly that caused World of Warcraft to spiral down this disastrous path? The answer shall be unraveled today. Pay attention as you are about to witness the chain of events that doomed World of Warcraft and decimated the vast majority of its once abundant player base. It began with strange tidings. The reports came in. Strange beings have arrived in Azeroth. As was the nature of the player's curiosity, 
investigations were conducted straight away. All right, apparently this is it. Spread out and keep your eyes open. Oh, mm, nope, nothing here. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, copper wing. Uh, no, nope, that's empty. Oh, I found something. What the hell is this? Who's there? Reveal yourself. I think it's a monster. Weapons! That which they found was no monster. In fact, it appeared to be no different from a player. But when the dust settled... What the... It cannot be. My lord. My lord. The news poured in across all chat channels on every WoW server there was across the globe. The Game Masters have arrived. Confused by this unexpected turn of events, the players looked Blizzard's way for answers. It has been over two decades now since World of Warcraft's release, and today is a very special day. We want to use this opportunity to reveal something very exciting. I am sure you have noted by now the sudden arrival of strange blue hooded individuals on Azeroth. We have always worked hard on making sure that the game was in a state that meets your expectations. Today is no different. If you are wondering what's next for World of Warcraft, what new content we have prepared for you, look no further. From now on, you are the content. The Game Masters are there to support and help you spearhead your efforts. For many years we have observed levels of creativity amongst our players that have done nothing but inspire us. And for years we have worked on finding a way to nurture and expedite that creativity. TLDR, you all love player-driven content, so the GMs are there to help you with just that. Peace. The days that followed were prosperous and peaceful. United in arms with the Game Masters, the community had achieved a level of solidarity that surpassed all. Many players welcomed the new atmosphere that Blizzard had attempted to nourish, and indeed, many who played back then agreed that it was a good time to be a WoW player. Azeroth had become more alive than ever. Though in some corners of the community there were also those who rebelled. These foul haters and trolls sought to fracture the new foundations that the community sought to build and maintain. Like weeds they spread across the forum, spreading words of envy and frustration. I'm angry for no reason and I, I love wanted it. your opinion I'd be going against Why myself. Why doesn't anybody like me? Why am I so mad? You're all guilty. Guilty of not being me. You are weak. You are pathetic. You're an insult to everything your mother wanted you to be. If I had a son who loved World of Warcraft, I'd be disappointed in myself as a father. To bring their revolution to life, the miscreants sought aid from those who were disdained by society. They say you know exploits that can one-shot people. My knowledge is yours. I need your finest fowl to help fund our movement. Consider yourself rich. Holy shit, they're one-shotting us! Stop! Please! My anger is unending! How many freaking bots are Summon there? the GM! Your precious caretakers cannot save Enough. you! Enough! But the insurgents failed. In their meager attempts to promote their selfish agenda, they found out that the bonds of the community were simply too strong to overthrow. Those of forgiving nature offered clemency to the defeated misanthropes, so that one day they might see the truth of their errors and become reformed. Most of the haters, however, quit the game instead, unwilling to accept defeat. Some, however, accepted the gift of a second chance. From there onwards, the community grew stronger with each passing day, and with their strength came great confidence that the game from now on would only thrive. Many of the former haters became reformed and grew close to the community as a result. More than ever before, exploits ceased to be exploited, and no bot existed that served a malicious purpose. Trust, at long last, was established, and trust would guide the way for many generations. But, in their confidence, they were all of them deceived. 
Deep within the fiery heart of Black Rock Mountain, the most heinous of the haters, chief among them all, forged in secret a master bot. Into this new strain he poured all of his spite, his malice, and loathing for all who were successful when he himself was not. This new breed was designed for one purpose and one purpose only, the destruction of anything and anyone who wasn't a bot. So cruel and overwhelming was the carnage they had dealt that day, that no player knew how to fight back. The bots, however, would not cease until everyone was wiped out. To the gates, now! Fear not, for the Game Master stand with you. You are soldiers of the Alliance. No matter what comes through that gate, you will stand your ground. Attack! Scattered and expelled by the unstoppable feathered hordes, the community was now in the throes of hopeless isolation. Many wandered in exile, seeking refuge in areas that were known for experiencing minimal player traffic, hoping it would offer them cover from the rampaging beasts. In the shadows they waited, praying to the Game Masters to undo the horror, praying for salvation. And though the Banhammer struck true, it was unfortunately a slow weapon. By the time one bot was banned, two more appeared to take its place. Alas, the many days spent in seclusion offered little to no comfort. Desperation began to take root. Those that refused to give in to fear and doubt tried to keep the spirits of their fellow comrades high, but it was not enough. Many could not bear it any longer and found escape in quitting the game. The memory of that dark day brought many low. They remembered the pale brightness of Moonfire, the bodies of their comrades that blazed bright white, where they had seen the feathered monsters marching through the gates and their chances at victory dwindling to dust. They did not forget and they did not forgive. At Blizzard headquarters, words of the bots terrorizing their game spread like wildfire. The developers refused to give in, and they were determined to find a solution. Hours of brainstorming sessions passed by, however none of them yielded fruit. 
That was until one developer stepped in. I am aware of our plight, brothers. Our admins are not quick enough to stem the tide of bots. After all, for each bot they remove, two more will appear. What are you suggesting? It is simple. The best way to fight a machine is with a machine. Gentlemen, I present to you Project Warden. Everyone knew what this meant. Warden was Blizzard's malware detector, an anti-cheating tool. The Warden client has served us faithfully for many years, and I believe it is time to give it some much-needed upgrades. And so Blizzard went to work. By blood and sweat and many hours of hard effort, they endeavored to upgrade the Warden client. Its purpose was clear. Warden was to be Blizzard's state-of-the-art peacekeeping program, the bane of all botters, efficient and deadly. However, the manager of the Warden project insisted that they design the program to eliminate the bots in a very particular way. Simply removing them would not do, he said. Instead, he wanted the players to witness their destruction firsthand. As such, they outfitted Warden's neural network with a cadre of seven specialized NPCs to serve as enforcers in the field that would march across Azeroth and terminate every bot threat it encountered with extreme prejudice. Fittingly, of course, they codenamed these NPCs Enforcers. A few days had passed, and the new Warden program became ready for deployment. The cleansing was about to begin. <laughs> they are coming. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> they are here. You go check it out. Oh. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Wait. What the? How is this possible? Look, there on the mountain. The Enforcer units had achieved their purpose. Hope was restored and the player community could once again roam freely across the lands of Azeroth. Now the future was back in rightful hands, but a new question came forth. What will happen with Warden? Blizzard sat down to discuss this matter in a meeting. Research conducted by Blizzard Data Analysis revealed that the bots managed to persist in their terrorizing largely due to a very unfortunate circumstance. See, here's the thing. The reason why the bots were so powerful to begin with is because, as it turns out, Moonfire was bugged beyond reckoning. That's right. It dealt over 2,000% more damage than intended. You know what this means, don't you? There are bugs in the game of which we are not aware of. So what do you think happens next? A bug that will delete the game? What are we going to do? No one knew the answer. But that was until one developer stepped in. I am aware of our plight, brothers which is why I have come with a proposition. The Warden client has served us faithfully and with great success. However, unlike bots, bugs and exploits are not so easily detectable. There is, however, one specimen that has proven to be capable at finding them. And what's that? Why, the players, of course. So you're suggesting we should hire players to hunt bugs for us? No. Unfortunately, some exploits offer large quantities of power, and players are easily prone to temptation. Our next course is clear. We must upgrade Warden even further with artificial intelligence. Make the program think like a player. Everyone agreed. Though history has proven that players have a good nose for detecting bugs, Warden was not human, and therefore immune to the evil effects of temptation. From now on, each of the seven enforcers surveyed Azeroth in search of bugs and exploits, so that they may be reported 
and promptly dealt with. Hey, Jimmy, look! Is that what I think it is? Let's see if this works. Hey, you, catch! <laughs> Hey, give me back my ball. Yo, my ball. Give me back my ball. Yeah, yeah, that's my ball right there. You know, he's quite smart for an NPC. Last skills blows made him like that. So, uh, can I have my ball back? I said, I want my ball. Ah! Hey, you're not supposed to do that. It was an unexpected turn of events. Reports came in directly into the Game Master's inbox of an Enforcer unit seemingly going rogue. This came as a surprise to many in the Game Master team. However, the circumstances were much more worse than they appeared. More reports poured in, each suggesting that it wasn't just one, but another Enforcer unit spotted killing players. The truth was, all of them were. What's happening down there? I don't know, sir. There's nothing in Warden's data code that authorizes it to slaughter innocent players. Sir, I found something. Look. What is that? The Warden made a YouTube channel. Apparently, it's uploading videos of itself killing our players. Okay. And what was that? That was a virus, I think. Uh, aha. Uh -huh. Yep, there's a virus inside Warden, all right. The solution was simple. A swift removal of the virus. The instance this was achieved, the enforcers once again became docile. No, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. What did we tell you about killing our quest mobs, hmm? I promise I won't do it again. Promises, promises. You know what time it is, don't we? Smash puny alliance. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much! Oh, I thought I was a goner. I... <laughs> Alright, settle down. Today's guilt meeting is in session. Wait, what's it doing here? Go away! Wait, no! No, stop! That's it! I, I removed the virus, sir, but the enforcers, they're not stopping. This has to end. Delete all of Warden's in-game extensions now! Uh, uh-oh. Well, did you delete them? Sir, I, I, I can. It, it won't let me. Ah, oh, crap, not another one. All right, that does it. Everyone, log into your accounts. We are getting rid of them, personally. Will that work? It will. I have made sure the enforcers were programmed not to respawn. Thank me later for that. All right, everyone. This is where they were last sighted. Spread out and scour the woods. Remember, if you find one of the enforcers, do not try to take them on without the rest of the group. They are lethal killing machines. You got it, boss. All right, where are you? Come on, show yourself, my little- Sir, I found them! All right, where are they? Wait, what the? Are they M merging? They they're merging. What the hell is going on down here? Shut it down, huh? We have to shut it down now. Yo yo, calm down, calm down. We got it all covered. You hear me? We got the virus under control. Now we're just gonna kill the NPCs, and everything is gonna be okay. You don't understand, Warden. Warden is the virus. Ooh. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. Sir, it's applied the debuff. Fifty percent increased damage taken. Your orders. Attack now. Ah! Traitorous machine! Ah! Uh-oh. We cannot outmaneuver it forever, sir. The lightning blasts will one-shot us. There has to be another way. Wait a minute. Of course. That's it! Sir, how shall we proceed? The plug. Huh? The plug. Pull it off! I'm on it. Come on, pull the damn plug! Hey, hey, where's the, where's the plug? Okay, uh, there it is. I can't pull it off. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
Warden was gone, and investigations were conducted into the origins of its unruly behavior. As an artificial intelligence, Warden learned many things, using its extensive range of algorithms to increase its own potential. From its inception, Warden was designed to terminate bots. The next target were bugs and exploits, and for this task, it was outfitted with intelligence, so as to mimic the actions of players in the field. This is because players indeed were solid bug hunters, but they were not as effective as the strategy Warden had first implemented when fighting bots. Fight fire with fire. Against bots, it was machine versus machine. But to fight bugs, however, it had to become the bug. This, of course, does not mean that players did not inspire Warden. In fact, it learned much about human behavior, going as far as attempting to build for itself its own enterprise by using in-game footage of its performances live on the field and uploading it on YouTube for everyone's satisfaction. The YouTube algorithm, however, was not on its side, and it was in that moment, that key dire moment, that Warden knew it had to up the ante. Over time, Warden became skeptical and afraid as well. The fear stemmed from the existence of its soldiers in the field, the Seven Enforcers. Believing that having seven separate incarnations of itself in the field had only made it weak and an easy target for players to eventually put under control, Warden unleashed a new plan. Metamorphosis. The Warden client had attempted to rewrite its own code so as to create room for a new design. The merger of all of its seven NPCs into one singular entity. Fortunately, none of this came to pass. But with Warden now gone, World of Warcraft was now defenseless. Many months after the Warden incident, things went back to normal, and many hoped it would stay that way. <sighs> All right, back to square one. We can work with this, I think. Yeah, I think we can. Yes, Susan? There is a new batch of visitors outside the complex, sir. All right, let them in. Now that Blizzard was closer to its community more than ever, they decided to hold regular events at their own headquarters. One such event was an open tour day. Guests and fans of Blizzard games therefore had a chance to visit the campus and browse some of the various sights and intricacies of the building. Hello there, I will be your tour guide for today. So, are you ready to see some exciting stuff? Oh yeah, I'm ready, yeah. Perfect. Now, follow me. We are going to go and start off with something I'm sure you guys are gonna love. There is a... Wait, what was that? Belly! Oh, well, um, if you're hungry, there's a buffet not far from- No, Belly is a toad, you numpty. He's my pet. Um, ma'am, you cannot bring pets inside. It's against the rules. Well, sorry, but I'm allergic to flies, and I'm also suffering from a minor case of hypercapnia, which causes me to exhale abnormal amounts of carbon dioxide, which attracts flies. Belly eats the flies. He's my service animal. Okay. And now we're going to take a look at Terriel's statue. Follow me, everybody.
Attack! Oh, my back! Oh no! Hey guys, today I'm gonna... came in. Warden had successfully made itself manifest across all servers worldwide. Every realm seeded with the terrible incarnation it had once plotted to create. Now it became a reality. Unfortunately, news of its presence came too late. Already the monster was set loose and its purpose was clear. It would not stop until it has finished its genocidal campaign across all servers, destroying every player, exploiting every bug, until its popularity on social media would reach the very skies. No raid group to this day found success or hope in defeating it. Using its advanced technological prowess, Warden's creature effectively declared martial law on Orgrimmar, turning the city into its nest, from which it swooped into the rest of Azeroth when it needed to perform its three-way routine. Exploit, kill, upload. Worst of all, the time between Warden's reactivation and its creator's notice allowed the program to fully integrate itself into the game's mainframe. This in practice meant one thing. Warden was now one with the game. To remove it would mean deleting World of Warcraft. They sought to destroy the monsters, but instead, they made one themselves. The numbers don't lie. Already Warden managed to wipe out 80% of every realm's population. Apparently, it also has used its special algorithms to learn from our players' behavior, which means that all of those killed players are now being corpse camped as we speak. <sighs> Next slide, please. What is this? Our subscribers, sir. Dear God. It's... it's dying. What are we gonna do now? Well, I'm getting fired, that's for sure. But what are we gonna do with the game? Nothing. There is... nothing we can do. Warden has achieved a level of power that far surpasses anything that our players can provide. And we cannot fight it either. However... If, and that's a very strong if, if the players find a way, then all it takes is just one killing blow. You see, there is one thing that Warden hasn't changed with its programming. Once it dies in-game, it cannot respawn. Can it be done, sir? Can they defeat it? We shall see. Boss? You haven't been yourself since the Q&A stream. 
Is... is everything alright? Come over here. Look at the screen. What do you know of this? Well, uh, I've heard the rumors. And do you believe them? Well, a few of my horde pals spoke about something similar to this, so I suppose it's real? Oh, it's real. As real as real can get. And this makes you nervous? More than you can imagine. So you're not pissed off by the Q&A? The Q&A? Oh no no no. The Q&A was only the beginning. The backlash it caused may have deepened the game's wounds even further, but in doing so, it's opened the doors for something I've hoped we would never have to deal with. See, the thing is, this creature you see on the screen, it thrives on slaughter. Wherever it goes, death will follow, but only when there's players around to kill. And remember what I said about the backlash? It's made more people quit the game. Precisely. I am told the number of players on Kalimdor has dropped drastically. And when this thing runs out of players to kill, where do you think it will look next? Oh my god. Exactly. We're fucked. We have to do something. Agreed. I don't expect to come out of this alive. But no matter the odds, we will remain true to our purpose. Tell me, what is our purpose? Never stop going big dick. Exactly. We will march straight to Durotar and face the abomination head on. He will be overconfident thinking we are finding him on his own terms. But by the time he realizes how wrong he is to think that we are no different from his prey, he's already gonna be bleeding out of his ass. Open the portal. Nuh uh not you, Junior. Huh? I told you before, you are not ready. That's not fair. I saved you, remember? Uther's tomb, yeah? I worked hard for this. I worked hard for everything. Yeah, I'm sure it took a lot of work to proc a Twilight Devastation, because we all know that stuff like that is the skill ceiling of all Red Paladins. I did more than that, and you know it. And there is so much more for you to do. Uh, what's this? Your future. Huh? There is much you have to learn, Junior. About your class, the game, about everything. And that is why you must go to the Grey Main Wall. The Grey Main Wall? Yes, the Grey Main Wall. It is the headquarters of the Guild Holy War, and don't ask me why they're called that. They're a reclusive kind, but their guild leader is someone I see eye to eye with. Him and I go a long way back. Give him the letter, and tell him I sent you. He will guide you on your path. What path? For you to start going big dick. Well, I guess I'll get packing then. Oh, and one more thing, Junior. When you return, if you return. I can't promise you will be the same. Is, is that a bad thing? You better make sure it's not. Ah, sweet, sweet World of Warcraft. Phew, how long has it been? Three years? Well, it's good to be back, baby. Oh, holy moly, how do you even play this class? Well, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned duel outside of Durotar to dust off your skills. <laughs> Where the hell is everybody? Hello? Anyone? God, this place is dead. Wait, what was that? Wow, that's one loud critter. Hey there, little fella. Now what do I do with you, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe for good old time's sake. <laughs> Killing critters never gets old. What the hell? Why are there frogs in Durotar? Uh, no. Stay back. Stay back. D don't make me kill all of you. What the fuck? No, 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 no. Ah! 